Well, I'm back at a uh, a uh, moose gut pile, a previous moose that uh, I shot a while back on my trap line a couple weeks ago. I left the gut pile here. Uh, I took the legs and uh, the hide and everything, rolled it up. You know, I'm uh, planning on using it for uh, a bait station of some sort. I'll show you guys this gut pile here. And uh, this wolverine, he's been coming back to this gut pile. You see he's been digging all in there, getting under there, getting all the good stuff out of there, kidneys, whatever he can scrounge. I was here yesterday to check it out and investigate because I wasn't here in a while and there was wolverine tracks all over the place. So I figured I would bring my uh, hide and make another bait station with 330 Connie Bears. You see these are last night's tracks. He was back last night. He's uh He's been coming back and eating on it for a while now, so it's good. We got him baited in the area we want him in. So I'll find a location in the trees and I will uh, set my moose hide in there. And then uh, I'll come back in a couple days once the wolverine finds that hide and starts chewing on it. And I'll set uh, some 330s there, just like I did on my previous bait station. Okay guys, we're gonna go this way here into the sun and uh, find a nice spot for them big thick trees to put our bait station on. Okay, I found a uh, pretty nice place here for my bait station. I'll throw that moose hide in the trees here and uh, I got a, a piece of backbone that'll get thrown on the trail. The ravens will find that right away and also help attract uh, predator animals. I got a couple of the feet in there as well. Uh, right back down here, right out in the open there, that's where uh, the gut pile was. That was the kill site, and that's where he's been going. So I'm about 60 yards, 50 yards from there, so it's good. Uh, the wolverine is right in the area, and he's coming back daily right where we want him. So what I'll do here, I'll haul my moose hide in here. I'll clean up some of these sticks and stuff, and it'll end up right in this little opening here. You see there's quite a bit of thick stuff around here, so... It's pretty much a nice natural setting. I'll have to cut a bit of spruce trees in there and uh, fix it up a little bit. I'll put a couple Connie bears, one on that end. I'll put one on this end here as well and I'll find a spot for one over here. So uh, we'll get that uh, moose hide hauled in here, get a somewhat of a, a pen set up where the Connie bears are gonna go. When the wolverine comes back, I'll, re I'll put the Connie bears on the openings, get them used to coming here. Then we'll walk them. Uh, hopefully this works out good. We'll just, uh, time's gonna tell guys. Okay, let's get started. Okay, for this bait station here, I put a uh, backbone tied onto a tree. I tied that backbone onto the tree so the wolverine can't drag it off in the bush somewhere. You know, I want him to come back here until he's caught. I threw a foot there as well. This backbone, you know the ravens will see that from the sky and they'll come down and start crowing and all their buddies will come over. Predator animals, they know the sound of ravens crowing and that means food so that'll attract the animals as well. My bait station's right in here. The gut pile's about 50 yards in, the, in that opening in there. So all I did, I just put some more trees in there through a uh, the moose hide in there, made a couple little trails where I'll put my Connie bears. One will be right here coming in. I'll put another one right here in that little opening. And I'll put another one in that opening going out towards the bog. Moose hide in the middle. So I'll let this sit here. I'll come back day after tomorrow. The wolverine will probably find this by tomorrow. Come back day after tomorrow, set traps around if he's got any, if he made his own little trails coming into the bait station, that's also a great place to put a Connie bear. Okay guys, let's uh, head on down the trap line and go check some traps. I'll show you guys how to uh, close the springs on a Connie bear trap with just a piece of rope if you don't have your uh, setters with you. <coughs> I just got a chunk of rope here with a loop on one end. You just run it through the eyepiece on the springs of your Connie bear. Run it through twice. This is a good way to take it off. Ta close the springs with one hand if you ever get your hand caught in a Connie bear trap as well. You know this is in a lot of trappers handbooks and whatever they tell you to carry a piece of rope just like this one. 
You know, these are pretty tough springs. They could be a real pain in the ass to try and close with your hands. Uh, this method works for any type of carny bear trap. So you see I ran that rope in there through twice. The loop on the foot, and then you just pull. And then put your safety latch on. Rope comes off. You do the same thing on the other side. I used this method before with 330s, 220s, 120s, uh, it works great. You know, especially if you're out and you're setting a lot of conny bears, you know, it, it's real hard on the hands, these springs are real tough, you know, they're, uh, they're, not, uh, they're not easy to set without the bucket and the proper tools. So again, tool loops in through, and pull, put your safety latch on, so you see if my hand was caught in here, you could put, use this, loop it in, pull on it, put that in your teeth or however the hell you want to do it, safety latch off, and you could probably close the other spring enough with one hand to pull your hand out. Of course your fingers will all be broken, but whatever. Anyways guys, this trap now is ready to set. Take my little string out of there, set it, and hopefully I get this little thieving weasel that's been robbing my bait out of my pen there. Hey guys, just heading down uh, the top line to check my bait station. I got across a big open prairie here. Uh, <coughs> the wind sure picked up. I don't know, it's got to be 40 miles, 50 mile an hour winds, maybe more. But she is blowing pretty good, man. Good northern weather here. So we're going to cross this bog and we're going to go about that way. But this is the kind of area where you get stuck in a whiteout in, get lost, drive around in circles looking for your trail, burn up all your gas, then you're really screwed. Okay guys, before this gets any more uglier, let's get in the thick trees and we'll go check our bait station. Maybe we got a Wolverine. Okay guys, we're going that way. Pretty nice day today. It's uh, pretty warm out. It uh, melted yesterday a bit. All my leg hole traps, they all sunk in the snow. I had to redig every one of them. And the big wind, it blew all the snow off the trees. And uh, a lot of my leg holes were sprung. So, uh, been a busy day, lowering snares, tending traps. Picked up uh, a little weasel there that was robbing out of my bait pen there. <coughs> nice size weasel. Good old 120, that sure did him right in. Beach still there. Okay guys, I'll throw my weasel in the sleigh. And I'll cross it back on the homeland side of the river and check some more traps there. Okay. Yeah, it's a uh, pretty nice morning to be out on the trap line. Just out working uh, with some traps, rebaiting a shitload of them, checking some link snares and lag holds. Uh, across the river right now on the east line. It's kind of good here. I'm just uh, just getting started out. Got a nice cat here and a double snare pen. You know I don't have as many double snare pens set this year as I have in the past but uh, I'm still slowly getting a couple more out. You know every day I'll set one or two more. I got a couple of bears and a lag hold there I would like to get set sometime today. Yeah so this is a good start to the day. It's uh, kind of clearing up out. It snowed all night. So uh, maybe we'll see some sun today. Nice old cat. He looks like he's uh, good. Doesn't look like anything's been eating on him or anything. Let's go have a look at him. My tripod is all, all screwed up. Beat to shit in my, uh, in my box there. So I'll have to get a new one. frozen so he's probably only in there for a night a couple hours in uh, 
uh, skinning shack in the heat and uh, I'll most likely he'll be well he'll get skinned tonight and boarded you know I'll bury him in my sleigh again to slow the freezing process down but you know I still got another five or six hours on the trap line all day so he could be a little more frozen but we'll see right on guys this is a nice start out nice start to the day well, like I said, I'm still about due for a real good day, you know. I'm, I'm about due for uh, for a few link anyways, you know. So this is good. It's going to be a beautiful day, guys. Minus 10 out, I think. Minus 12, somewhere around there. Pretty damn nice. Okay, guys. I'll get my, uh, I'll get my cot in the sleigh. Bury him in there. I'm trying to get rid of a bunch of carcasses there, too, and stuff. So he gets buried, and... We're gonna go that way, guys. Nice morning. Sun's, uh, yeah, the sun's getting up pretty high. It's gonna be around lunchtime now, maybe. Still on the other side of the river. But, uh, quite a few more sets to check. Now, uh, Wolverine, he was back at my bait station. Uh, tomorrow I'll go back there and bring some uh, clowny bears with me. Picked up a nice lynx here, number three soft catch lag hold. This is the same place there where I seen the link tracks. They came from this side up over there somewhere. And I mentioned in that video that if you see a link track anywhere and if you put a trap there, that link will be back in the same general area. Anyways, this is that set where I put the trap and that was maybe two weeks ago, a week and a half ago, and there we got a nice cat. Okay guys, um, my battery is running pretty low, I didn't charge my camera, so I'll take this guy out, we'll carry on and we'll have a look at these two links when we get back to the cabin, throw them in the sleigh with the other one, be good, we'll shoot for three today, man, that'd be great, a three link run would be perfect, you know, it'd be nice to get more, but we'll shoot for three, we'll see what happens, okay guys. That is a, uh, it's a pretty nice sized link, that one, I got him out of the trap and he was, uh, looked it's quite a bit bigger than when he was kind of crouched there alive. I just botched him a 17 HMR. This is my new HMR. It's a uh, Savage. It's got a decent scope on it. It's sighted in real good. I was head shooting uh, sharp peeled chickens the other day, one after another. Uh, so it's a good gun. I'm quite pleased with it. I'm happy to be back packing HMR than 22 long rifle. And uh, uh, we'll talk about that another day. Anyways, guys. Get this reset and carry on down the line. There is Lynx number three on today's run. Got him on a uh, simple trail set. At first I thought he was Wolverine there. I just looked under his chin, you could see it out of the snow there. But it just kind of looked Wolverine-y. Not a very big looking Lynx yet, but I'll know right away here. But it's a uh, good simple trail set. Works great. Through his head. Well, that's why I like the HMR, huh? 
22 long rifle would go in and come out the back end, you know, and you got two holes, more blood to deal with. But I'm pretty sure this is probably the biggest cat that I bought this winter. You know, look at the size of his feet even compared to these ones here. These are a little smaller, these two, but this is a good one here. So pretty good day today. Nice and warm out. Weather was good. A couple cats. So anyways, guys, I got to uh, start skinning this big boy out, get him boarded. Uh, Quentin and Sheila, I think they're going to come by tonight. They're actually late already. We're going to flush some uh, beaver pelts. They wanted to uh, learn how to flush them over their knees, so that's what we're going to do tonight. And I'll probably get these three all boarded. That one for sure. These two need a few hours of thawing at least. The old fur shed's coming along nicely. Got quite a bit of fur done already. A few link, a couple of wolverines. A bunch of beaver pelts are already all done. We'll do a few more beaver pelts tonight. Uh, I got two more wolverines that still got to get done. I got three done now. I got a link up on that board. That wolverine's probably ready to come off. And we'll put all these pelts together and we'll take some measurements on them and we'll uh, see which ones are big, large, extra large. But we'll do that when I get uh, all the wolverines done. Okay guys, I have a bite to eat and Quentin and Sheila will be here pretty soon. Let this place warm up and get to work. Right on guys.